Hi, this is H.C. Bailey. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. First thing we want to do while we're here is rest up at the end, because I have no spell charges. And we want those back. Yay. Okay, now one thing you'll notice, we uh, got up to level 15 here, and the Red Mage now has a level 5 spell charge. So let's take advantage of that. So first thing we want to do, we want to get Fire 3. That's always good. Won't be useful in the near future, but might as well get it anyway. But really, you'll be using it for Cure 3 for the most part. Uh, eventually, you'll want to get life for him, but he can't learn that right now. So we're just going to pass on that. Now, um, now that you've uh, done everything, let's see how happy the people are. Yeah, I know you're a farmer. I hate it when this happens. Come on! There we go. Okay, the Earth's beginning to revive. Yay! And that's what basically all the people say. So, or anyone that you care about. So, anyway, um, that's all we can do here for now. Um, next thing you want to do is um, go back to uh, some other towns so that you can restock on your supply of uh, heal potions, pure potions. Uh, tents are good. Um, also, if you need to restock on soft potions, you'll need to head back to Elfland. Um, so yeah, and uh, if I didn't say so, uh, sell your excess uh, weapons and armor, because you're going to want to clear that before you go to the next area. Um, so once you've done all that, rest up at the inn at Canaria, and then uh, head to Crescent Lake, as the circular stages have some new information to give you since you restored light to the Earth Orb. So that's where I'm going to go next. I will meet you there at Crescent Lake, so I'll see you then. Alright, we made it. Let's rest up at the end first. Alright. We got it. Okay. Well, everything's the uh, same here as before, but uh, I guess I'll show you the magic shops. Uh, yeah, White Mage doesn't have a level 6 spell charge yet. Um, he will. Um, at level 16, but even then, well, I'll show you. Okay, let's see what spells we got here. We got Soft, um, that's not 620,000 gold, that's level 6 spell, costs 20,000. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, let's start with the spells. Soft is like a Soft Potion spell, but, um, I mean, it's just ridiculously high priced compared to the price of Soft Potions. You'll never use that many, so... Um, we're going to skip that. Uh, exit does what you think it does. It takes you out of a dungeon. Um, that will be worth it, and we will get it. Um, it's also the only way you can get out of the final dungeon. So uh, we want to get that. But um, even, if I, even if I was at level 16, the White Mage could, still couldn't learn it. So we're going to skip that. Uh, fog 2 uh, is like Fog, but I think it works on everyone. Or maybe just increases it more. Um, I don't know, but it's not worth it. It's a negligible amount of defense. Uh, Invis 2 is actually a, almost a good spell, actually. Um, but I think I wouldn't get it in this version of the game because uh, you, you really don't need it. I mean, your White Mage is it's going to have better things to do, really. So I, I wouldn't get it in this version. Um, maybe later. And you also get an item that can cast the spell later on, anyway. So um, the only spell here that I think is worthwhile is Exit, but I'm not going to get that right now. So let's uh, move on to the Black Magic Shot. Okay, we got some slightly more useful spells. Uh, Lightning 3 is the only spell that I think is worth it. Um, I would get that for the Red Mage later. Um, he can't learn it now, even if he had the spell charges. Um, Black Mage, uh, I guess if he had a Black Mage, it'd be worth getting it now. Uh, Rub is, an in is the instant death spell, targets one enemy. Um, I don't like it. I mean, why bother using that when you can use a spell that can actually deal damage to them and kill them? Uh, Quake is... I, probably the most useless of the instant kill spells. Um, basically, um, it targets all enemies, but there's so many enemies that are immune to Quake. So it, it's just ridiculous. I don't like it. Uh, stun, uh, I think, paralyzes an enemy or something. Again, why do that when you can actually kill them? So we're just going to pass on all the spells for now, primarily because we don't have the spell charges. So that's it there. Let's talk to the sages and see what they have to say. I'm not going to talk to all of them. I'm just going to talk to the one that actually has something useful to tell me. 
so let's go. I think it's this one? Yeah, there we go. So now we gotta go after the fire fiend with the canoe. So we gotta go to the volcano. Now the fire fiend, um, well, now that we have the canoe, there's actually quite a few places we could go to. We could go to, well, obviously the volcano. Um, we could also go to uh, the ice cave, technically, at this point in the game. Uh, we could also go to the castle ordeal. There's a way of getting there without the airship. Um, and some people like doing that because you can get some very useful uh, items there um, that can actually cast spells. But in this walkthrough, I'm going to play through it as the creators intended you to go through it, and that is going to the volcano first. So uh, in order to do that, we're, we need to take the volcano. So let's do that. Now in order to get to the volcano, we need to take the rivers. So let's go there. Gonna go up here. Got some new enemies here, so watch out. Here they are, uh, Hydra, a vanilla enemy, uh, about 200 HP, uh, they're not weak to anything, so just go all out, take them out one at a time. In future versions of the game, I, I think there's sort of a glitch or something, I don't know, because um, there's uh, southern hemisphere river enemies and, and a northern hemisphere uh, of river enemies that are tougher. But in future versions of the game, they merge the two, so you can run into enemies that are really tough um, relatively earlier in the game. So, um, so you, know, you got to be careful with that. Okay, so let's see. We go west. Then, if I remember correctly, we go north. And another hydra. Okay, uh, I think tech, the correct translation is Piranha for these enemies, or something like that, I don't know. They're pretty weak, they have less than 100 HP, uh, they're weak to lightning, but why bother, they're not that hard to hit, so. And west again. Okay, there's another new enemy, Ocho. Uh, I think it's technically Ochu, but whatever. Uh, they can poison you with their physical attacks, and they're moderately tough, so I'd go all out, take him out fast. Uh, there's one more enemy that you can meet in the southern hemisphere of the rivers, and uh, that's um, Croc. Or short for crocodile, obviously. And uh, they're weak to lightning. They have a very powerful physical attack. Um, they're fairly tough on defense, so I would try to take them out as quickly as possible. Even use lightning too if you have to. So don't be afraid to use your magic if you have to, but I wouldn't waste it on those uh, Caribes. Okay, so we're at the volcano. You have to enter through the bottom here. Um, just some advice. Um, obviously, you want to use some cabins or tents to restore your HP to maximum and save. Um, now, unfortunately, um, well, Ice 2 is going to be the most useful spell here because, well, it's a, a volcano. You're going to run into a lot of enemies that are weak to ice. But it shares a spell slot with Fast. So um, what I did um, for the treasure plundering part is I organized it into two parts. So um, you're going to take two trips through the volcano. Uh, so on your first trip, uh, don't be afraid to use your magic because we're going to come back out, use a house, go back in. Now um, there's some new enemy. There's going to be a lot of new enemies in this area that uh, you need to watch out for. Um, so and a lot of them have attacks that can, uh, well, hit you with fire damage on everyone. So you want to save all your level three spell charges for anti-fire. Um, so you got to be careful with that. 
Um, so don't use heal for that. You want to save those spell charges. Um, if you fight, th there's three enemies that I would really watch out for. Uh, red gargoyles. Uh, they're shortened for argoyle, but it's essentially red gargoyles. Red hydras, or our hydras, and red dragons. And uh, those three enemies have fairly powerful fire elemental attacks that target everyone. So if you see them, you want to cast anti-fire against them. Um, it's not too tough, but, um, you know, use that. And there's also an enemy called Perilisk, which has a squint attack that can kill you with a single hit. So I would run from them, uh, cast life on anyone who dies as you run. If your white mage dies, well, then you're screwed. So, uh, that's all the preparations that you need to make. So that's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.